What's up guys, Zinigami here. We're gonna go through setting up a fresh Droid 4X install. This is the emulator I use, it's called Droid 4X. And if you wanna play on the English One Piece Trader Cruise, all you gotta do is set up, uh, go to Google Play, obviously just like everyone else, everyone can just go to One Piece, install it, you're good to go. But if you wanna set up the Japanese version of One Piece Trader Cruise, what you're gonna have to use, you're gonna have to go download QAP, QOO, APP. And you're gonna look for this one, the APK file, and you can download it right there. Quite, quite easy. Now we got QAP downloaded. This is not the APK. Download. Okay, we've already got the download completed. Next, install, please and thank you. Open the application. The so app is gonna be on our desktop here, app. Click. I don't need that one. So now on app, you can find One Piece Treasure Cruise right here. This is also how you can play any other uh, Japanese game besides One Piece Treasure Cruise. You can download and play stuff like Doken Battle, Japanese version of Doken Battle. Whatever else we want. Oh, okay, we just had to refresh. It was just stuck loading. You can play Bleach, Brave Souls, whatever else you like. Although, Bleach, Bleach Brave Souls, that's really hard to say. It doesn't work with Droid 4X. Uh, it, if you download QApp on your own phone, you can work out just fine. You open up One Piece Treasure Cruise. This will be the Japanese version. You download it. Uh, what if I just do that? Yeah, it's fine. Good. Bum, 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 downloading the APK file. If you also have to ever update your One Piece Treasure Cruise, you're gonna do it from QAP. It's gonna send you to the Play Store, but instead, open up QAP, select One Piece Treasure Cruise, and you're good to go. And there we go. I got One Piece Treasure Cruise. No thanks, I don't wanna start an account now. I'll be doing that later. And while I still have you guys, let's actually go over one more thing, one tiny little thing, how to get multiple One Piece Treasure Cruise accounts on a single device. Now this is specifically going to be to have multiple One Piece Treasure Cruise devices or multiple versions of your Droid 4X emulator on your PC. So you can see right here, I'm using Droid 4X emulator. If I open up One Piece Treasure Cruise, it's got my global account on it. As soon as we come in, that's my the sec the ID for my second friend ID, my second global account, the one I always stream with. And there you go, it has my One Piece Trader Cruise account on it. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm going to close Droid 4X, close it first, and you're gonna go to this location. You're gonna go to C, Program Files, Droid 4X, Virtual Box VMs. That's C, Program Files, Droid 4X, Virtual Box VMs. You're gonna see Droid 4X on here. This is basically the uh, virtual, the the virtual, a simple way to put it, it's, it is what Droid 4X is loading in. You're gonna rename this file. Don't delete it, rename it to version one or something like that. Rename it to something else, so you know what it is. Now, when you run Droid 4X again, Droid 4X, Droid 4X is going to look in the virtual box VMs, look for the virtual machine, and it's gonna see that it doesn't have the one it's looking for. It's looking for Droid 4X specifically. And so since it doesn't see that folder, I don't need to update right now. It's going to make a brand new folder. So there it goes, it just made a brand new virtual machine. And virtual machines are basically what Droid 4X uses to get all its memory. And after this loads up, you can see it already is loading in horizontal, which I usually load it mine in. Oh, I can't change settings. I usually load mine in, in vertical, so that way I don't need to change it while I'm playing, or it doesn't change when I hit the home button. As soon as it loads, you'll see that I have nothing here. There we go, it's asking me how to do all the new stuff. I already know what I'm doing. Hit the same going set to vertical, because that's how I like it. But, you see this is brand new, I've got nothing on here. And I can close it again, and open it again. And it will open up. I just changed the vertical, so now open in vertical. And then, 
If we ever want to switch back, all we're going to do is change, rename this to version 2 and rename version 1 back to the original one. So we'll give it just a second. As soon as it loads up. Or maybe we'll just give it another shot. Droid for X! Load. Are you not going to load for me? Just to make it quite inconvenient. There, oh. I think I hit close. One more shot at it. Or might have to go into my apps and see if it got stuck. There we go! Now it's loading up. Emulators like to be finicky. I don't want to update. There we go. So this is my version 2 Droid for X. If I download something on here, I, I'm not going to download stuff. I'll set. I'll go about setting up this later. But if I want to switch back to my original one, you can close this one. I want to rename this one to version 2. And if I ran Droid for X again, it would make a brand new Droid for X. I need to rename this one to Droid for X without version 1, so that way now it has a folder that it's looking for. And when I run Droid for X, it's going to run out of my original folder. And we're going to have all my fun, fun stuff back. Ignore. And there we go. I have everything back. And I can go back in here and I can play One Piece Treasure Cruise again. So that's how you can easily get multiple versions of One Piece Treasure Cruise on a single device. Now you can't do this on phones because you're not able to, it's not a virtual machine so your phone can't swap between different versions like this. But it works just fine for Droid 4X. Enjoy One Piece Treasure Cruise guys. And y'all stay beautiful. <laughs>